Hey there, Libra. Welcome to uh, your reading for the week of January 17th. This is part two. Uh, if you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the comments down below. So uh, make sure to watch part one. This is all a part one right here. Uh, but we're just going to work our way through here and clarify uh, what is going on for you at this time. With the Ten of Wands, you have the Magician. Of course, uh, like I said in the first reading, Magician energy has been coming up quite a bit in these readings. I, I you know, I do feel like part of it is like new beginning energy. Sure. Um, fine. <laughs> you know, there, I, I feel like people are working towards new beginnings. I think when we're like stuck, we, like we have been for such a long time, people are ready for something new. So that makes sense to me. I, I would also say that the magician is talking about kind of grounding something in reality. I literally said at the end of your reading that, you know, this reading, I had a feeling would have more to do with your attention. And look at this. The magician is literally pointing towards the sun and towards the magician. So I feel that your attention and where your attention goes is going to be uh, extremely important this week. Uh, with the four swords, you have the knight of pentacles. Yeah, time to get to work, you know. It's like I, I would definitely say, you know, if you need a rest, if you need a break from something, take a break. Your oracle card in this row is the rhinoceros. And again, it says moderation. So that doesn't mean don't work. It just means moderation. It says, if you're working hard, make sure you're resting hard. Make sure you're, you know, work hard, play hard, as they say. If you're, um, you know, even if you're not, just make sure you're getting rest, right? But do things in moderation. The Knight of Pentacles wants us to get moving. He's the only knight in the tarot that isn't moving at all, period. His horse isn't moving, but he has everything he needs. The green on the card represent here and also here on his head represents oak leaves and they represent knowledge. It's like he has the knowledge to be successful. He has the knowledge to make progress in whatever it is that he's trying to make progress on, but he needs to get moving. And the fields back here are ready to be planted. So it's kind of like a card that like is saying, like, okay, let's get going now here, Libra. <laughs> uh, and, and by the way, here's more imagery for you. Again, on the star, it's like she's watering the ground outside of her pool. So again, it's kind of like saying that she is ready to, why why is it doing this, Libra? I don't know. But anyway, it's like, I'm, I'm not going to mess with the camera today. She's trying to water the grass outside of her pool. Uh, here with the emperor, I mean, with the... Um, Star, you have the emperor. It's kind of like one of those things. This is, there is a drastic change with this energy going from much more moderate energy and moderation, 10 of wands, four swords, star, resting, relaxing, recovering, and then boom, action uh, uh, in the clarification. So it could be that this is saying, hey, at the beginning of the week, it might be a good time to rest, relax, recover, gather your energy. And then at the end of the week or later on in the week, you're gonna be ready to go um, with that emperor energy. Emperor really wants us to charge forward. He wants us to you know, take action and make things happen. So uh, definitely an interesting energy. I forgot, I wanted to clarify these Oracle cards as well. Uh, you have the Meerkat and this card says responsibility. So with moderation, you have responsibility, probably just a responsibility to your own health and your own well-being in this first row. Uh, in your second row, you had the fifth house and you also have this solar calm card and it says clarify. Um, so <laughs> maybe you need some clarity. Uh, I would definitely be careful of your words this week as well. I would say that every single sign, except for you actually now, <laughs> um, every other sign, has had something show up in the readings about needing to be very careful of the words, needing to not jump to conclusions and, and all this other stuff. So I'd say no, you know, if you have one of those moments this week where you feel like jumping to anger or you feel like jumping to, um, you know, some sort of strong emotion, I feel like that card is like saying, slow down, you know, clarify things first so that you don't cause like a problem that doesn't need to happen, right? Uh, so let's see where this is going. Uh, with the sun, you have the queen of swords. Yeah, you, it's like you're finally clear um, what you need to be doing at this time with the queen of swords. She is the first court swords card where her head is above the clouds. It's like she sees things very clearly. She finally sees almost like the future with this energy as well. So I feel you see the actions that you need to take. Magician twice right in this top row with the queen of swords. It's like she finally understands the action she needs to take to manifest whatever it is that she wants to manifest. So take action is what I would say here. Uh, with the page of swords, you have the four wands. Uh, freedom, um, these portal cards keep coming up as well. We're clearly, I would say, stepping through a portal or we've already been pushed through, you know, an, you know, an energetic gateway, whatever you want to call it, uh, where the energy is changing. 
because again, the, um, pretty much every single sign has either had the four of wands or the world or both. And you have the four of wands here. These people are celebrating on the other side of the four of wands. It's almost like they are calling you over. They're saying, hey, come over to this side of the wands and come celebrate with us. So it is a card of marriage, but it's really a card of celebration. It's also considered the card of freedom as well. So I feel for a lot of you, uh, you could be being set free at this time with the four of wands, or you could be gaining more freedom in your life. With the two of cups, you have the four of cups. Mm, I feel like you need to start looking at what's right in your life, not what's wrong with the four of cups. Four of cups says like, we might have to look really hard, you know? He's like, things are not perfect. It's a card of contemplation. He's sitting there, he's like meditating under the tree. He's trying to manifest things in front of his life or in his life, but he's got his arms folded. He isn't accepting the cups that are in front of him. It's like sometimes I think we do, it's like sometimes we are manifesting things in the right direction, um, but if we don't you know, pay attention to it, if we don't see it, if we aren't grateful for the things that we do manifest, then we're not gonna manifest the, the big thing that we want. It's like I think people need to realize that manifestation starts very, very small. It's like you can't just go from you know having basically making no money to a million dollars. Actually, I do feel like it'll be possible. So you know, I don't wanna go on a rant here, but I do feel like um, like once people start getting into the more manifesting, then I feel like it will become possible. It's like once one person does it, then more people will do it. So I do feel like manifestations are going to speed up for people. But right now, what I would say is that you have to get your energy into the energy of having a million dollars before you actually get it. So what does the universe do? It gives us little tiny steps to get there. And that's why we probably don't manifest overnight because we can't just go from no money to millionaire. We can't just go from uh, a bunch of crappy love to really a good relationship, right? It's like, because we've never experienced that energy be before. Uh, are there shortcuts? Yeah, maybe, but um, you know, we kind of have to take the little steps and we have to accept what is being given to us in front of us to kind of get to that place. So I would be looking for everything that's right in your life. And that's exactly what I would do with that four of cups. Uh, with the candle here and the egg, you have the camel and it says persevere and you will overcome your problems. Uh, that's nice. And you also have the jug. It says lighthearted, carefree time. There you go. <laughs> so I feel like there's good stuff coming in for you. And clearly, you know, camels are survivors, right? They don't need water in the desert. So even if you feel like you don't have the things that you need in your life, that is kind of saying you do. With the magician, you have the eight of cups, walking away energy. I just feel like you're walking away from things that don't no longer serve you. Uh, in this row, you have the king of cups. And the King of Cups says, be very careful of your emotions. Eight of Cups also says, be careful of your emotions. Eight of Cups is a card of being sucked down into like an emotional whirlpool. It says that if you're not careful of like where your emotional attention is going, then you know you could be attracting some negative experiences. Uh, with the Five of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords, definitely needing to set yourself free. Um, I, I just feel like everybody feels this again right now. It's like, um, you know, people are asking for permission, I feel, to do the things that they want to do, but really nobody's going to give us permission to do anything. Um, so we have to like just kind of like get moving. And that's why your whole entire reading here is talking about action, especially this clarified part of the reading. It's like saying, once you take action, then you will be free, but you have to take action first. The problem is asking for permission is what I'm getting here with the Eight of Swords. It's like, you could be wondering like, should I do this or that? I talk about this all the time because, you know, to me with Neptune and Pisces, it's like there's a general lack of clarity on what, like what we should do, what we can do, what direction we can do. It's like, I think for the most part, as humans, if we're gonna get into something, we kind of want to have a good idea that it's going to work before we actually get started, right? Like our relationship. We Maybe before we open up, we want to make sure that things are going to work out. And same thing with a business or a job. It's like we kind of want to know that it's going in a certain direction. Neptune and Pisces kind of makes that very murky, makes it very cloudy. It's like we can't really, we can't really know how things are going to go and things are probably not going to go exactly how we thought in the first place. They're probably going to go in a very different direction with Neptune and Pisces. So it's a little tricky you know, it's a little tricky. And, and, and that's why I feel as a collective, we're kind of getting these, like everybody's getting these cards. With the King of Cups, you have the King of Cups. <laughs> so the universe basically saying, I meant what I said. And, uh, you know, giving you the King of Cups twice. Could definitely be a King of Cups person coming in for you. I do want to ask like more, can we get more details on this action uh, that you could be taking or that you need to take here, Libra? Like, 
Um, you have cards wanting to fly out here as well. But uh, let's get more details on the action. You have the Ace of Cups. And your emotions overflowing. Major focus on happiness this week. Remember, you had that fifth house card that was like talking about doing things you enjoy, working on your passions, um, not for any reason uh, other than to just bring more happiness into your life. So if you have like hobbies or things that you enjoy doing, I feel like it would be a good time to, uh, you know, take part in a hobby or do something you haven't done in a long time. It'll cause your emotions to overflow with that Ace of Cups. Yeah, you, know, you have the Hangman here. Hangman is like waiting, a lot of waiting energy in this middle row. You have the uh, Knight of Pentacles not moving forward. Um, Page of Swords, he's like, am I ready? The Page of Swords is looking back right there and he's saying, am I ready? Am I ready to you know, kind of move forward. You have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands, Conflict Competition. Hangman says you're ready. His head is glowing. He has gained enlightenment. He's ready to get off the pole, but it's like you need to do it. I feel in a lot of ways this is saying it's time to get moving forward, time to progress. And you have the Five of Cups as well. Five of Cups is like feeling like things are worse than they actually are. So I do feel like some of you could be feeling that. I also, there is definitely, you know, it's like, I've said it to other people as well. There's this element of like not being able to go back to the way things used to be, um, you know, and I feel a lot of people are feeling that energy. Like, you know, I can't do the things that I used to do. I'm not a child anymore. That, you know, could it literally could go back to childhood. It could just be other things as well that are changing. But I feel like we need to like turn around and see the two cups that are behind us because the two cups leads to this bridge that leads to the castle. So even though it's like we might no longer be able to enjoy some things that we used to enjoy, there's probably a lot more happiness coming in in the future. Uh, with the, uh, here you go. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords. Get out of your head. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. But Seven of Swords is also a card of being a lone wolf. And I do feel that this combination here is saying don't try to do things on your own. I wouldn't really call this a love reading. So I really don't feel that that is taught. I mean, could you have been lied to, cheated on, stolen from? Sure, but I really don't think that's what that's talking about. I feel this is more talking about needing to have fun. He has polka dots on his cloak and polka dots in the tarot represent needing to have more fun, needing to do stop being so serious, right? So that's what I would do there. Uh, with the hangman, you have the two of swords. Yeah, needing to see that there's another way. Exactly what we were talking about with Neptune and Pisces. Hangman, Pisces. So I feel like you need to like turn around and go to the new island that is behind you. And with the five of cups, you have the uh, high priestess. <laughs> there you go. I feel like you need to trust your intuition. More Pisces energy. Uh, I feel like you need to trust your intuition. And, you know, again, uh, with the mysteries, you know, she is a card of mystery. She has this veil behind her and we don't really know what is back there. So I feel like this is kind of saying like, enjoy the uh, mystery and, you know, just look into things. But I feel this, um, you know, this is more of a sustained energy is what I would call, it. especially with that camel spirit or the camel card there. It's almost like if you just keep pushing forward, I know it sounds cliche, but if you keep pushing forward, you will be successful at this time. I really also feel that this part of the reading is more asking for action the emperor, uh, the two magicians. It's like saying it's time to kind of like pour your energy into something you want to see work because then it will work plain and simple. So uh, I kind of like where this is going for you. Again, this week overall has been meh, I would say, just in general for pretty much everyone. So, you know, first week of the retrograde, technically, um, even though it started like a while ago, but, um, you know, whatever <laughs> is what I'll say there. So thank you for being here, Libra. I really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.